The entire universe and everything that lies in it seems to be following set patterns. Based on the laws of physics, these patterns enable planets to move around host stars and avoid collisions with each other. Many of the adrift asteroids and comets often come close to hitting Earth and other planets. While on most occasions the gravity of the Sun and the planets help prevent these collisions, sometimes the path and the speed of the adrift asteroids and comets is such that a collision cannot be avoided. Scientists estimate that the age of the Earth is around 4.543 billion years. During this vast span of time, numerous objects from space have hit or landed on Earth. While most of the asteroids and comets that hit Earth were insignificant in size to cause any major damage, there were some huge meteors that not only caused significant damage, but also altered the course of history on the planet. Scientists are still far from creating technology that could prevent the incoming objects from entering the Earth's atmosphere. However, the modern-day advancements in science and technology have enabled scientists to be able to effectively observe the Earth's atmosphere for any incoming objects. They have also been able to study and understand the chemistry of various objects that have fallen on Earth. In addition, the advancements in geology have led to the discovery of fragments of pieces of many ancient meteors. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at five mysterious space objects that landed or came close to Earth. The Meteorite That Wiped Out the Dinosaurs Scientists believe that about 66 million years ago, one of the most catastrophic events in the Earth's entire history took place. Researchers have found abundant geological evidence of an asteroid hitting the surface of the Earth and causing massive destruction. However, the most conclusive evidence was discovered in 1978, when geophysicists working for an oil company discovered a massive impact crater underneath the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The crater is located near the town of Chicxulub, and therefore it has been named the Chicxulub Crater. Subsequently, the asteroid that created the crater was also named the Chicxulub Asteroid. Over the years, a number of research studies have been conducted to determine the various features of the crater and the asteroid that caused it. It is estimated that the crater is 150 kilometers in diameter and 20 kilometers in depth. The crater goes quite deep into the continental crust. Researchers believe that the Chicxulub asteroid was approximately 10 kilometers in diameter. As this massive asteroid hit the surface of the Earth, it caused a massive explosion, resulting in Earth's atmosphere being polluted by a huge amount of debris. This severely altered the Earth's climate and caused the extinction of more than 75% of species that existed on Earth, including dinosaurs. Some evidence has also hinted that a massive tsunami was also triggered as a result of the explosion. Researchers are still trying to get their heads around the climatic conditions immediately after the meteor impact. Further research is being carried out in order to better understand the mix of dust and various gases that engulfed the planet after the impact from the Chicxulub asteroid. The Japan Earth Grazer 2006 Meteors are the small bodies of matter that enter the Earth's atmosphere and become incandescent due to friction. They travel at very high speeds and appear as streaks of light. While many of the meteors hit the surface of the Earth, some meteors enter the Earth's surface in such a trajectory that is almost parallel to the Earth's surface. Due to their high speed, these meteors bounce back into the upper atmosphere and re-enter space. Such meteors are known as earth grazers. One of the most fascinating examples of an earth grazer was observed in Japan. On March 29, 2006, the citizens in several cities of Japan witnessed a bright fireball travel across the sky. Scientists in different research facilities in Japan were able to accurately measure the characteristics of the meteor. Scientists determined that the fireball was caused by a meteor that weighed approximately 100 kilograms. It had entered the Earth's atmosphere at a height of 87 kilometers, and then it covered a distance of 1,000 kilometers in only 35 seconds before leaving the Earth's atmosphere. 
This was only the third Earth grazer to have been observed and measured accurately by scientists. It was widely photographed and videos were made by ordinary people and scientists observing the Earth grazer. The event was also widely covered by the mainstream media. It was one of the most rare and fascinating space-related events to have ever been witnessed by a large number of people. The 1860 Great Meteor A unique meteoric phenomenon was observed on July 20, 1860. It is popularly known as the 1860 Great Meteor Procession. A number of people in different parts of the US saw several fireballs traveling across the sky at a very high speed. The Great Meteor Procession was also seen by Frederick Church, who was a renowned American landscape painter. He created an oil painting of the Meteor Procession portraying what he had witnessed. Most of the people who saw the strange Meteor Procession were baffled by the sight. The event could not be deciphered immediately due to the lack of widespread scientific knowledge and it could not be observed in detail due to the lack of equipment required to observe such a phenomenon. However, over time it has become one of the most popular meteor processions. It is believed that the famous American poet Walt Whitman was inspired by the Great Meteor Procession sighting in 1860, and this event led him to write his famous poem, Year of Meteors. In 2010, 150 years after the Great Meteor Procession, it was finally determined that the phenomenon was an Earth-grazing meteor procession. The 2008 TC3 On October 7, 2008, an asteroid entered the Earth's atmosphere and exploded 37 kilometers above the Nubian Desert in Sudan. Scientists estimated that the asteroid had a diameter of 4.1 meters and weighed more than 80 tons. The asteroid disintegrated as a result of the explosion in the atmosphere and more than 600 meteorites belonging to this asteroid were recovered by scientists. Many of these meteorites belonged to the rare type known as uralites. These uralites contain a number of different minerals including nanodiamonds. Known as the TC3 asteroid, this was the first asteroid whose impact was predicted before entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The asteroid was discovered 19 hours before impact. It was discovered by Richard A. Kowalski, who was working at Catalina Sky Survey, a telescope in Arizona, United States. The meteor exploded 37 kilometers above the Earth's atmosphere. The energy of the explosion was measured to be equal to that of a 0.9 to 2.1 kilotons of TNT. A large fireball was created as a result of the explosion. According to media reports, the light from the explosion was so intense that it lit up the sky just like the full moon. An airliner that was traveling 1,400 kilometers away from the explosion reported seeing a very bright flash of light. After the explosion, Scientists started searching for the torn apart meteorites. Fifteen meteorites were discovered within the first three days of the explosion. After analysis, the researchers concluded that the asteroid TC3 belonged to a class of asteroids known as F-class asteroids. Researchers found amino acids on the collected meteorites and they concluded that the source of the asteroid was most probably another planet in our own solar system. One of the pieces of the TC3 asteroid was gifted to Richard Kowalski, the scientist who discovered the asteroid before it had entered the Earth's atmosphere. According to scientists, it is not uncommon for asteroids of such a size to hit the surface of the Earth. In fact, two or three such asteroids hit Earth every year. Green Fireball's Unidentified Flying Objects since the late 1940s, astronomers have been baffled by the unidentified green fireballs spotted in different parts of the world. The first reports of green fireballs can be traced back to February 1949, when a newspaper in New Mexico, United States, published news about the mysterious flying saucers with green lights. A couple of years later, Time magazine published a story in which it highlighted the unidentified flying green lights that were seen by many people in New Mexico. 
During the subsequent years, a number of other sightings were reported in different parts of the US. However, most of these sightings were around major military and atomic weapons facilities in New Mexico. The fact that most of the sightings were reported by the highly professional scientists, pilots and intelligence officers made the United States government quite worried. It was suspected that these green fireballs were some sort of spy devices being used by the Soviet Union. A number of investigations were carried out to find out what these green fireballs were. One of the major investigations was carried out by a meteor expert, Dr. Lincoln La Paz. His conclusion was that these green fireballs displayed too many anomalous characteristics that could not be shown by a meteor. According to his investigation, these were most probably artificial in nature. However, other investigations concluded that these green fireballs were probably a result of an unexplained natural phenomenon. Similar green fireballs have been spotted outside the US as well. In 1983, a Royal Air Force pilot nearly collided with unusual green fireballs near Manchester in England. A green fireball was also spotted in Cold Lake in Alberta, Canada in 2011. Similar sightings of unidentified flying green fireballs have been reported in Australia, Ireland, Japan and South Africa. Researchers are still not sure about the origin of these mysterious unidentified flying green fireballs. But what do you think of these five mysterious space objects that landed or came close to Earth? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.